hey welcome back to the channel now in this video what i want to do is to go ahead and look at how we can set up uh the vuex store vuex in a view existing application and again i'm just gonna go ahead and just recommend that if you know that you're going to be using the vuex store just go ahead and set um install it with the default setup because it'll just save you a lot of time but in the event that you actually just started this thing and uh you didn't know that you were going to use it but after you found, you found out it's, that gets larger then this is how you'd set it up and uh this may might be the last video in the series i don't know just yet i may create more view three videos i haven't really seen where i have to use it right now i'm still stuck with view two because of business or uh, reasons so as a result i'm still stuck with view Two, but I think that view three is awesome so far. So, you know, for my yeah, let's just get go ahead and get right into the video. The first thing that we want to do is to actually just go ahead and do a yarn uh, add UX at next. I just want to go dash that save. And if you're using npm, it will just be npm install and the rest of that. Okay, so that's that let's i uh, can leave that as is let's first of all go ahead and set up this thing so you can see that we have an adjustment we have view uh vuex 4.0.2 and uh yeah so that's that the first thing that we need to do is to actually just go ahead and create a store folder with some files for the time i'm just gonna have one file which is basically just gonna be um the index file so what I like to do is to create a file with a folder at one. So we have the folder here and then the next up JS. So now we should have a folder and an index file. So the first thing that we want to do is to do an import. And with this, we're going to import in curly braces, create store. And this is how, um, this one is done it's pretty similar to when we were setting up the view um the router the router and also the app itself so this one is just gonna come from uh or using single or square bra or yeah i think we we're using single so let's continue so this is gonna come from the vx store and the next thing that we're pretty much gonna do is just create a constant uh here because we're gonna export we're gonna be exporting this so let's say constant store create store this is a function and uh, what we can do is we can get a state for one and uh, let's call this app name and uh, this is going to be view 3 uh, view 3 view x because we're going to have an individual brand set for this. And uh, by convention, I think it's, it's something that is recommended that we do not like, access the the state directly. We use uh, getters, and this is what I prefer to do as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a getter. And this is basically going to take the same name. So we're going to say app name. It's going to pass in the uh, state in here and we're pretty much just going to return uh state that um app name and that should pretty much do the trick as it relates to the store itself now what i want to do is just to do an export default and in here what we're going to do is pretty much just say store all right so that did uh it's pretty much finished all we have to do now is just to go into our main here do an import of store from dot slash store and in here what we can do now is pretty much i want to believe that we could actually go ahead and do this but i'm not sure if it will actually work i don't think it is actually recommended what we do is use but tack on a, another use and i'm gonna show another uh, I don't know if it's a clean, it's a more cleaner way, but I'm just gonna show another way that we can actually do this. So let's save that. 
that should do the trick. Um, the next thing that we want to do is to actually print this thing out. So I'm just going to go here and uh, in our template tags, we're just going to go ahead and do it this dot store dot getters and we can pretty much just do at name because it is in the index usually you probably have to put it in square brackets and pass um, the module that is actually in so let's save this and we can that should pretty much be it so we can just go ahead and do a yarn server now I'm going a little bit fast but I'm gonna go over it in a sec Alright, here we go. So let's open this up, and I think I actually had it open already. But and there we go. So that's pretty much how we uh, do the setup or the, the the installation and how we render this out um, to the to the component itself. So that's that's one way. There are other ways we could actually do this inside of. Um, the script tag and we could get it that way as well but we're pretty much just looking at how we can do the setup and installation uh of this thing here which is pretty which is pretty awesome another thing that we can do and i'm just gonna tack it on to this is to go ahead and create a constant app which is going to be equal to this function here and from here we can just pretty much do app that use app that use on all of these and this i don't know if it's a cleaner way you could give me a recommendation on what you think if it's if it's actually cleaner or whatever but we save this there should pretty much be no changes because it's the same thing so that is just another way of actually doing this kind of cool to some extent don't know what you guys think let me know in the comment section but that's pretty much it as it relates to um setting up uh the view store in an existing view app so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one